Hi, I'm Miss Kristen. I'm Miss Kate. Come along and join us for everybody welcome to Christ Kids TV I'm Miss Kristen and it is such a beautiful day outside that I decided to come out and climb a tree what else can we do on a beautiful day you know what we can do we can say a prayer so fold your hands and bow your heads dear God thank you for the gift of your amazing creation help us always remember to take good care of it and all God's children said amen see you friends gotta climb Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope. Hey there, Pastor Ryan here. I've got a couple uh, towers here made from some 2x4s. This one has a firm foundation. You can see that it takes all the hitting that I want to give it and it doesn't topple the 2x4 at the top. This other one, well it's pretty big. It's actually so big it's outside of the screen you can't even see how tall it is, but I assure you it is tall. But despite how tall it is, I don't think it's very secure. In fact, I know it's not. While I can hit this one's foundation and it's gonna be solid, if I just look at this one cross-eyed, it falls down. See, because the foundation is so important. We get lost sometimes in seeing how big and how great and how wonderful that we forget that if you don't have a firm foundation, you've really got nothing at all. Now in Jenga and Legos and 
two by fours. Foundations are pretty easy and obvious. It's the stuff that you build. But in our lives, it's maybe not so obvious. How do we have a good foundation? How do we build a foundation in our life? Should we build our foundation on, I don't know, YouTube? No, probably not. Jesus is the better way. Jesus teaches us all the things that we need to know. He teaches us how to think and how to act and how to care and love on each other. And then he cares and loves on us. And in doing so, we build a firm foundation. We set things in the right place so that when we build off of those things, we know that they're going to withstand the test of time. Now, in our life, we don't have shaking and people coming around, earthquakes aside. But we still have an imperfect life. Things still do come in and shake our life. There are troubles. There are things that we didn't foresee or we didn't expect to have happen to us. And these troubles, they can be pretty troublesome, <laughs> hence the name. But Jesus tells us that if our foundation is firm, we can get through those things. That as those temptations or as those problems come around, we can get through them. Get through them because we know that our foundation is strong and that we won't be easily shook, or rocked, or destroyed, or toppled over. Now, maybe that means they're not going to be as majestic as some other ones, but how majestic are those uh, two by fours laying on the ground there now? I don't think they're very majestic at all. All these things, all these teachings that Jesus shows us and gives us, these are the things that we come across at Sunday school, in church when the pastors preach, when your mom and dad read the Bible, when you read the Bible yourself. All these prayers that you give, all this time that you spend going to God, that's just one more brick in your foundation, making sure that you have a sturdy, level, and enduring foundation. It's a gift from God. Have a blessed week building your foundation. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. Hey everyone, it's Miss Kate. I am so excited to share our Bible story with you today because it's one of my very favorites. Today's story is actually a parable. Parables are stories that Jesus told when he was teaching to help people understand important lessons. Remember Pastor Ryan's experiment with the two by fours? Pastor Ryan's experiment showed us that a firm foundation is really important. 
And he told us that the way to get a firm foundation is by following Jesus. And that's the same lesson that our parable teaches today. Let's check out this video about the parable of the two builders and see what else we can learn. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus. hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. He asked them, Why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm going to build here. Yeah, I'm going to build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right. Hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. So the parable of the two builders is about two people building houses. But really, it's about much, much more than that. Jesus told this story to teach us how important it is to build our lives on him and to obey God. Jesus wants us to be like the wise builder, not the foolish one. Do you remember what happened to the foolish builder's house when the storm came? It was too weak to stand and it crumbled to pieces right there on the sand. Think of it like this. Jesus is the rock, we are the house, and the storm is like hard or sad things that happen in our life. When we build our lives on Jesus, we will be safe and strong, even when life gets tough. Just like the wise man's house was safe on the rock when the storm came. All right, friends, so let's be wise and stick with Jesus, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV.